Hey guys, Nick here from Garage Gaming. Uh, today will be the first episode of a new series I'm going to start called Seed School, where I try and help you guys out, uh, give you tips on the game, uh, especially for newer players trying to get into the game. Siege has a massive learning curve, and as a new player, it's a pretty intimidating game Which, with uh, how much stuff you have to learn. It's not just shoot people. There's there's so much extra stuff to learn. So uh, I'm gonna try and help you guys out. So I am on my Smurf account today, and episode one here. Uh, I'm gonna get hopefully uh, by the end of the series into really really advanced stuff for players who've been playing for a really long time. Uh, but for now, we're gonna start with the very very basics. Which operators should you get and which operators should you be playing when you are new to the game and you don't have any operators or if you do have operators but you're not really sure who to play. So I'm going to go over that now. Uh, I'm As you see I'm on my smurf I said. So I don't have all the operators. I have the second row because I have deluxe. and uh, But I don't have every first row. I have most of them. So for today's video I'm only going to talk about the first row. Uh, I'll make a, an episode 2 uh, covering the second row, which operators you should be playing. So I'm going to talk really fast and I'm going to go over a lot of information. So feel free to rewind if you miss something I say. But I'm going to try and keep this video really short. So uh, I'm going to start by telling you which operators I think you should get. And start playing at the beginning of the game and why. I'm going to go over what they do. And uh, I'm not really going to go over how to do what they do in this episode. I'll, that'll be in uh, another episode in the beginning on how to actually play the operators. But for now, I'll just tell you the very, very basics. And I'll tell you which guns you should use on them. So, let's start. Attackers, which operators you should get. Start, I would say, Sledge, Thatcher, Thermite, and um, IQ or Ash, maybe. So, I'll go over that. So, Sledge... He's the first operator. Uh, he's that. He's number one right here. The very first operator you click on. Normally, he's most people's first operator that they get, and he is a very good operator. So he, I think, what happens is a lot of newer players play him, and then you start getting new operators and you start playing other operators. And I think people stop playing him, but which is a mistake because he's still a good operator. He's not the best. And he's nowhere near the worst. He is still very good. He's played in high levels of play. And there's reason for that. And I'll go over that in another video on how to play Sledge properly. Um, but for now, I'll keep it short and simple. So his main gadget is a breaching hammer. He has a literal sledgehammer that he can break shit with. He can break walls, ceilings, and barricades. He can break walls provided they're not reinforced. He can break hatches provided they're not reinforced. And as long as it's a semi-soft floor, he can break that too. And you can shoot through the floor. So uh, that you, he's good for vertical play. And I, I think I'm going to make a video on every Pathfinder operator, every first row operator and how to play them. So stay tuned for that if you want to learn how to play Sledge better. So for his loadout, you want to take the L85. Uh, if... If you're not new to FPS, if you have good gun skill, I would say take the SMG-11. If not, uh, I'd say take the uh, pistol. Both are very good. The pistol does 50 damage per shot. Um, the SMG-11, though, is an SMG. It shoots really fast, but it's got a lot of recoil. So if you can't control the recoil, take the pistol. I'd say just quick try it out. If you see the SMG-11, you can't control it. It just goes straight up to the ceiling. You can't you can't use it. Just take the pistol and uh, the LED-5. So I'll quick go over what attachments to use. So for the LED-5, uh, I take ACOG, muzzle brake, and a vertical grip. Uh, so that's what I use. This is just what I use. I'll make a video on attachments, but I'm going to go over this really quick. SMG-11, holographic, flash hider, vertical grip, uh, pistol. All you want is a muzzle brake on it, and that's it. Um, then for his gadget, his secondary gadget, take frag grenade. This is viable to change in the game. Gadgets are often swapped around secondary gadgets. Uh, so... As of now, he has frag grenades, so take the frag grenades. The second operator, I would say, is Thatcher. So Thatcher's gadget is an EMP grenade. Basically what it does is it di temporarily disables all electronic devices. So generally what you use this for is opening a wall that's electrified so that you can put a hard breach charge down, um, Aces Selma, a hard breaching secondary gadget, or Hibana pellets. For his loadout... 
He has three primary weapons, uh, the AR-33, the L-85, once again, and the shotgun. I would say, especially if you're new to the game, take the L-85. Just for simplicity's sake, if nothing else, it's the same gun that Sledge has. So if these are two operators that you get and you want to start playing them and you do start playing them, you learn how to play the L-85 and then you learn how to play two operators with their guns anyway. So that's I, I, just for simplicity, keeping it simple, I would say take the L-85. The AR-33 is a good gun. It shoots faster, does a little bit less damage, but it shoots faster. It's got an angled grip, has a little bit uh, smaller magazine, but and it has an ACOG. So I, I would say, though, take the L-85 over the AR-33. All you have is a two-time scope, uh, so that's that's what you take. Uh, vertical grip and either flash hider or muzzle brake. And then he doesn't have the SMG-11, so that's already decided for you. You're taking the pistol. Uh, for his gadget, I would say I take claymores. You can also use breach charges. It's This is really whatever you prefer, however your uh, game style is. Claymore, you can put it down, stop... Uh, defenders from going in a certain area and if they do go they have to shoot out which you'll hear so that's good for that uh next operator i would go straight to uh thermite so thermite has an extra thermic charge he gets two of them so thermite and thatcher are the pair that you normally take to open a wall they're the best at it there's other operators that can substitute for that but no one does a better job than thermite or thatcher so thermite what he does is he puts it down it's it's like a c4 but it can cut a reinforced steel wall unlike sledge sledge cannot break that you can't put a bridge charge on it ash can't blow it up thermite is the only one that can open a reinforced wall from pathfinders anyway so uh his loadout you want to take the assault rifle 556 five, uh you want to have an acog flash hider or muzzle brake and a vertical grip uh, for his pistol, uh, both are pretty solid pistols. Um, I'll tell you the advantages and disadvantages. The M45, it does 58 damage, which is a pretty hefty amount of damage. As you saw, um, Sledge and Thatcher's pistol does 50. This does 58, almost 10 more. You only have 8 bullets though. 7 in a mag, 1 in the chamber. So that's probably the only downfall of this gun. The 5.7... If you know anything about guns of real life, it's a low caliber gun, it's supposed to be armor piercing. It's a really tiny bullet. Uh, it does less damage though because of that. So it only does 42 damage versus the 58 of the other one. However, this gun has 20 bullets in the magazine with one in the chamber, which is where this gun shines through. You can really spam click this gun if you run out of bullets. Uh, this gun you only get eight shots with. So gadget, once again, personal preference, I take stun grenades over the claymore but depending on your playstyle, the claymore may fit you better so you can uh, try both of those and decide which one you like for the next operator i would say either ash or iq uh both of these are good operators they do very different things uh i'll go over ash um i just i generally don't recommend playing ash everybody plays ash she's just a fragging operator her job she can't open reinforced walls she can't disable things uh all she does basically is shoot people uh, she has a breaching ground, but most people, she just runs in and shoots people with her gun. But um, her breaching round, it's basically a little bazooka. She can break, like sledge, soft walls, barricades, and ceilings, anything that's not reinforced for the most part. Um, for her loadout, you want to take the R4C with a holographic vertical grip and muzzle brake or flash hider. Once again, with the two pistols, I prefer the... Uh, the M45, but it's your choice, and I usually take breaching charges over Claymores. Next operator, IQ. She is an intel operator, so she's good at gathering information uh, where different gadgets are. She can find the bomb site or the um, biohazard container. She has this little uh, iPad she duct taped to her arm here, and she can see basically anything electronic within a certain range. As she, through walls, through floors, anything like that. Uh, for her loadout, she, you have you have some good choices here. Unlike um like Thatcher or or unlike Sledge, I mean, you take the L85. You don't take the shotgun. It's pretty it's pretty self explanatory. Thermite, you don't take the shotgun. You take the 5.56. Uh, IQ, however, you definitely have uh, more choices here. All of these weapons are good weapons. So 
We'll start with the uh, with the G8. This is what I feel like most people use. It's an LMG. You got 50 shots. It shoots really fast, and you, you just aim for the head with this gun. Uh, it did get nerfed, so all you have is a holographic sight. You have no zoom whatsoever, and then you take a flash hider and an angle grip or a vertical grip. I use vertical. Um, then, personally, when I play IQ, I use the 5.52. Uh, it does the most damage out of all these guns. Uh, I think... It ha does, however, shoot the slowest, um, but it's got really controllable recoil. So I would say if you're new, take the 5.52. It's a, it's a good gun. I personally like it the best. Uh, the AUG is a good gun. It does less damage than the 5.52, but it does shoot faster. And personally, I would say the only reason I would ever take the, um, the AUG A2 over the 5.52 is to use the ACOG. It has an ACOG. It's the only gun of hers that has an ACOG. So that's personally the only reason I would ever use that. So if you want some long range scopes, yeah, you have to use the AUG if you're playing IQ. Pistol, she only has one. The GSG 9P12 45 uh, makes it pretty simple for you. Pretty decent pistol. Average, all around, well rounded pistol. 15 shots, one in the chamber, 44 damage per shot. Just a, just a good all around pistol. Gadget. Claymore and uh, Breaching Charge. Again, this is really up to you and how you want to play the game. I would say take the Breach Charge. You can put it on windows. You can put it on doors. You can put it on ceilings and walls. So, uh, But you can also take the Claymore if you'd rather do that. Um, really quick, I just want to go over the operators I didn't mention and why I didn't mention them. Um, so, Twitch... She's a good operator. The only reason I don't recommend her is because of her gun. It is an amazing gun. However, it has really, really strong recoil. So if you if you have really good gun skill already, if you're, if you're good at shooting, you just want to learn about the game itself, then take Twitch. Definitely take Twitch. She has a really good weapon, the F2. Uh, use either the 1.5 or the holographic. I use muzzle brake and vertical grip. Uh, so, like I said... If you, if you can control recoil, take Twitch. And then I use the P9 over the revolver and stun grenades. Um, uh, her gadget is a shock drone. So everybody, all attackers get two drones. She gets two drones with a taser on them. She can break um, cameras and a bunch of different gadgets. And she can disable bulletproof gadgets. Um, I am going to make a video on every first row operator. Like episode... All about how to play Sledge. All about how to play Twitch. I'll do one for every first row operator, attack and defense. So if you want to learn how to play Twitch, stay tuned. I will make a video on that. Um, next operator that I didn't say, Glaz. Um, you he can be good for beginners. He has a uh, a sniper rifle, and it's it's not great in terms of uh, usability. It. Uh, it's got a lot of kickback after every single shot, so it can be difficult to spam click if you can't, uh, especially on a controller. But he does have a thermal scope, so he highlights enemies, which can be really good for newer players. And you're when you're trying to see an enemy, when they're bright neon yellow, it can definitely help with that. So uh, you want to definitely, you need a muzzle brake. Um, it would be cool to have a suppressor, just because you can't see where the bullets are coming from. But just because of how bad his recoil is, you're basically obligated to use a muzzle brake. Otherwise, it's just going to fly up in the air. Um, then you have, I take the reflex sight. The, this sight is completely personal preference. Um, the the red dot and the reflex are probably the best. I wouldn't recommend the hollow. But if, if you like the way it looks, that by all means. Um, these are all Russian optics, by the way. Just so you know. That's why they look different from most other ones in the game. Uh, and then I take the PMM. It does 61 damage per shot, which is very good. And uh, I would say take the smoke grenades because Glass with his thermoscope can see through them. But uh, yeah, I would definitely say take the smoke grenades over the frag grenades. Um, I didn't recommend Fuse only because he has a cluster charge, which is an explosive. And it's very easy to break things that are on your team like drones you can hurt your teammates with it and so if you don't know what you're doing it's really not the best idea to uh take fuse and blow everything up um he's got a good gun though so that's that's going for him. the ak-12 is the best gun in the game at this current time 
So there's that. Um, and then Monty and Blitz, they're both shield operators. They have a bulletproof shield. Uh, I would recommend not to play shield operators, especially if you're new at the game. But I just say don't play shield operators. They're not that good. Uh, if you insist on having a shield, take Monty. He can fully extend it. And, um, you know, he's not going to take a freaking shot to the shoulder with a little pixel angle like Blitz does. He has a much bigger shield. So if you have to take a shield, take Monty. Uh, Montagna. So that's about it for attack. On to defense. I'll go over the operators that I suggest you play. <sighs> First, I recommend Mute, Rook, or Doc, or both, uh, Jaeger and Bandit. So, first being Mute, he has a really good loadout. So, his, his gadget, we'll start with that. It disables all electronics and permanently if they're in the range if you move it out of the range they start working again so if a drone goes into the range it stops working your screen goes all fuzzy and you can't use the drone anymore uh, i would like to point out that this does not affect gadgets on your team so if you have electronics on your team this will not break it only the attackers um they he can put it in front of a wall and a breaching charge, a thermite charge, Hibana pellets, or an ace charge will not go off because they will not have a signal to go off of. So he has a really good gadget. And his loadout is really good too. Now generally at higher levels of play, and what I use is the shotgun and the SMG-11. Uh, that's what is used in Pro League for the most part. The reason being his shotgun in terms of shotguns is really good. It's got pretty decent range for a shotgun better than decent it's got good range for a shotgun in this game um, but generally the real reason you want to take that shotgun is because it's very good at opening up the objective putting holes in walls so you can shoot through them putting a hole in a wall so you can walk through the wall and have a rotate between objectives and uh, that's basically the main reason why so if you don't really know how to do that don't worry I will make a video on it but in the meantime uh, take the uh, mp5k it's a really good gun in general, but especially for beginners. It's got very low recoil, it shoots really fast, and uh, it's easy to get headshots. So, um, I'll go over all the loadouts for this. So, if you're using the MP5K, I would say take the one5 times scope with a flash hider. If you're using the shotgun, I would say take whatever sight you prefer. I use the reflex because it's the smallest, and you want to put a laser to tighten the hipfire accuracy of it. Uh, pistol, you want to just put a muzzle brake on. The SMG-11, you want to use the holographic, flash hider, and vertical grip. And uh, another thing, if you do decide to use the MP5K, use the pistol, because you don't really need two SMGs. If you use the shotgun, I would say, if you can if you can control it, use the SMG-11. And for a secondary gadget, you want to take the nitro cell over the bulletproof camera. Uh, for Rook and Doc, I don't have Doc yet on this account. Uh, I, can, I could buy them right now, but I'll just go over Rook. They have the same guns. Uh, so for uh, Doc, he can heal you. He does. He gives you an extra 40 health. He has a stim pistol. For Rook, right when you spawn in the game, right when the round starts, you put down a supply bag, and it's filled with armor plates. So your entire team can pick one up, and it will essentially allow you to take one extra bullet. If you get killed, you won't die. You'll just get knocked provided you don't get shot in the head you'll be knocked before you actually die uh your bleed out time is twice as long before you uh bleed out if you're trying to wait to get rezzed and uh it basically makes a three speed a uh a three armor instead of a one armor and so he's really good he can really beef up your team make you take a lot of extra hits so for him you want to use the mp5 he has a two time scope so that's what i recommend you take doc only has a 1.5 so that's what you want to do on doc take a flash hider and a vertical grip uh for the secondary i'd say uh for beginners definitely take the p9 good well-rounded pistol um the revolver is good it's got a lot of kickback but you only get six shots it does do 78 damage per shot though but i would say just in general for beginners take the p9 his gadget he has impact grenades and proximity alarms. Just like the shotgun I set on mute, impact grenades are generally used to open up the site. So if you're not planning on opening up site, 
uh, I'd say take the proximity alarm, which will beep whenever there's an attacker nearby. So maybe you can put one behind you so nobody comes up behind you, uh, you know, watch your flank for you so you don't get snuck up on or anything like that. And it will give you the, uh, it'll start beeping and you'll know when there's an attacker nearby. So that's what those are for. Um, <clears throat> next, Jaeger and Bandit. Both really good operators, both played a lot in all levels of play, beginners and advanced alike, Jaeger especially. Uh, so he has an active defense system, so basically what this does is you put it down, and if you throw a grenade, uh, uh, not you, an attacker, if an attacker throws a grenade, a flashbang, a smoke grenade, uh, an ash charge, anything, uh, any type of projectile, this thing will basically zap it out of the sky and just make it disappear into nothingness. And uh, so it can really help. So how it works is it'll zap one and then it will go on a cooldown for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, it can work again. He gets three of them to put wherever you would like. Um, for his loadout, you want to take the 416 carbine. So it's, a, it's an assault rifle and you want to put the hollow, a vertical grip, and either a flash hider or a muzzle brake. He only has one pistol so you want to just slap a muzzle brake on that and you want to take barbed wire over a bulletproof camera um for bandit uh he has batteries he's got four 12 volt batteries and you can put them on basically anything metal uh barbed wire deployable shields and most importantly reinforcements and it will hurt an attacker just a little bit if they walk into it um, but mainly what this is for is, so if you reinforce a wall, now attackers have to have uh, a hard breach. So Thermite, for example, he's the only one that can open it out of the first row of operators. But if you have this, now Thermite can't put that down or else A, he'll get electrocuted and B, it'll break the hard breach gadget. So now on top of needing a Thermite, now they need a Thatcher. To get rid of the shock wire. Now you can bandit trick, which is basically uh, keeping the wall up and not taken down, even when they have a thatcher and a thermite. Again, I'll make a video on every operator and how to use them correctly. But quickly, his loadout you want to take the MP7 with a holographic and a muzzle brake or a flash hider. And again, he only has the pistol, and so you're going to take that. Um, his secondary gadget, you can take whatever you want, uh, depending on what the other team has. So barbed wire is gets overlooked a lot, but it's actually really important to have barbed wire on your team. But if you notice that the majority of your team has barbed wire, then you don't need it. You can take the nitro cell. But if you notice that not a single person on your team is taking barbed wire, you're going to want the barbed wire. And again, as you're, since you're playing Bandit, you can electrify this, and drones can't go through it. It'll break the drones. So, that's a neat thing you can do. So, I hope I helped at least one person with this video on what operators you should be getting or playing if you already have them. Uh, I will make a part two on of, with the uh, second row here of all the uh, operators on which ones of these you should be playing. And, like I said, I will also make a video on how to play the operators. I, eventually, I would like to go over every single operator in the game. We'll start like everything else. Start slow. We'll do. I'll do the whole first row, one episode for each operator. Some of them might be a lot longer, like playing with Sledge uh, or Bandit. Some of them might be really short, like playing with Ash. Not a lot to that operator. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next episode in the series, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Oh my God.